Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Cloud South Africa Demo Center. Today I'll show you how to easily set up a big data platform on Huawei Cloud from scratch. We'll show you how to deploy an application on top of this big data platform and work out different scenarios on batch processing and real-time data consumption. Here is a scenario of uh, what we're going to do uh, in the demo later on. So the the in the, to give you a bit of a background, the problem that we are trying to address here is increasing urban traffic problems such as traffic jams, traffic accidents and fake license plates. The solution to that is we will use MapReduce service or MRS on Huawei Cloud to analyze and mine data on vehicles and roads. The data source for that will be anonymized data at a road checkpoint. Now, if we look at the higher level big data solution architecture, we've got uh, the license plates, the checkpoints, which feeds into the MRS Kafka real-time data processing. Uh, so we have a real-time alarm status update uh, using OBS uh, for historical data storage and an MRS Spark for data analysis and prediction. These will give us lead into an outcome of four different solution scenarios. The first one is real-time alarm for fake plate vehicles. The second one is real-time traffic monitoring at the road checkpoint. The third one is road checkpoint traffic analysis. And the fourth scenario is a vehicle route analysis. Huawei Cloud Big Data MapReduce service can deliver real-time analysis. For example, the first scenario is real-time alarm for fake plate vehicles. And the second scenario is the road checkpoint real-time high traffic monitoring. The solution will be to create an MRS streaming cluster that can be done easily. This will use Kafka components to collect road checkpoint data in real time. Use the storm component to analyze the data in real time to find the fake license plates. And lastly, use the storm component to statistics and calculation, sorry, and to calculate the vehicle information of each point, checkpoint. Now the benefits out of that will be streaming processing of low latency data. That will be through identifying fake, la um, fake license plate vehicle within seconds and real-time high traffic monitoring within seconds. So Huawei Cloud's big data MapReduce service can also work for batch or offline processing scenario. For example, if we look at the first scenario, every rope checkpoint history traffic flow analysis. So we'll get hourly statistics of traffic flow at each road checkpoint from massive data and find the most crowded road checkpoint that day. The second scenario will be for vehicle route analysis. So the correlation analysis of road checkpoints and draw a landscape of the vehicle route in the city. So the solution at a high level is to create an MRS analysis cluster that can be done easily. And that's through three jobs or three different stages. The first one, data, is cleaned and stored to HDFS. Secondly, will be the road checkpoint traffic analysis. And third, will be the vehicle route analysis. The benefits will be to um, analyze or the analysis and processing of massive data using object storage for low cost storage and using MapReduce or Spark or Hive to achieve terabytes, even petabytes at levels of data analysis. Here is a high level architecture on big data platform and application. We first define a virtual private cloud on Huawei Cloud, provision real-time streaming cluster and analysis cluster with some, with some of the clicks. We will simulate some of the source data, collect the source data into Kafka topics to generate queues. Store module will consume the queues for fake car 
and huge traffic analysis scenario. Source data will store into object storage and load into Huawei Cloud Big Data Analysis cluster with traditional big data components for traffic statistics and car movement analysis. After running offline MapReduce jobs, the data will write back to object storage service and feed by front-end application. In the right corner, you can see the cluster information and legend. Let's open Huawei Cloud Console and guide you to realize those two typical big data scenarios step by step. First of all, we create a virtual private cloud to contain big data cluster into VPC and its subnet information. From the Enterprise Intelligent Catalog, Service Catalog, we come to MapReduce Service and subscribe a cluster. Here, we create the real-time processing cluster first. Just make sure you're in the Johannesburg region. Choose Customize Config. Input the cluster name and version specification and choose the components that require close Kerberos authentication and input big data cluster administration password. Click next. Choose the VPC that we created just now. Make some customization here like choose the high availability for demo only. and type the password for data, big data cluster working nodes. Now click next, keep the default and subscribing now. We can then monitor the provision process. Just 10 minutes later, the cluster will be ready and we navigate into the cluster to initialize it. But first of all, let's make the big data cluster management node as internet accessible, open the ingress rules and attach a public IP. Let's try to access Huawei Cloud MRS Web Management Console, check cluster status and take down some information like Zookeeper Management IP address. 
Let's access the Huawei Cloud MRS control node by SSH and create Kafka topics by command line interface. We go back to Big Data MRS Management Console to check the Kafka cluster broker IP address and ports. Let's modify the Kafka configuration files according to broker IP and ports we just checked before. We then start up the Kafka producer. While it's running, we open a new console to check the Kafka producer's status and data generation process. We open a new command line console and run a car analysis stage by storm component. Make sure the storm job is running and we open another console to check how Storm will consume the data that is generated by Kafka, topics and queues by Kafka consumer. Now let's review all the data generation process and make sure all the producer, consumer and storm stream processing are running. Okay, let's keep the real-time process running and create a new batch processing cluster. It's nearly the same process like before, but this time we choose analysis cl cluster. Wait until it's running. We initialize then the analysis cluster. First of all, let's upload the mandatory data, application and configuration files onto object storage service, create a new bucket to contain them. Open this bucket and upload.
create folders and upload files. We then go to MRS Web Console to configure MapReduce jobs. We choose type as MapReduce, give it a name, and choose the location and object storage and input the parameter. After finishing the three jobs created successfully, we can check the MapReduce logs and output for troubleshooting. We must make sure that all jobs are finished successfully. Let's deploy a demo application for car analysis and streaming process. Open this application portal we will see that the demo application is running. Let's try it now. The first two menus show you the real-time processing. First of all, the first menu called Fake Cars. It shows a real-time processing for the source data, source data properties, showing about car plate and their location by monitoring camera when moving your mouse you will highlight the car where it appears in the very near geolocation at the same time. So potentially that one, uh, that car is a fake car plate. Let's move to the second menu, showing real-time traffic jam, gate number means camera ID, and within that camera, it recorded how many of the cars at the same time, bigger number means big data traffic jam. The other two menus are showing you batch process for some specific time period. Let's go to the third menu called Traffic Statistics, which shows you that within the last 24 hours, how much or how the traffic status was like. Is it too much load or is it very lightweight? It's an accumulative statistic. The last menu is the car movement which shows you also in the last 24 hours how about the statistics of traffic jam by recording of cameras for example when a car passes through between camera a and camera b when taking too much time that maybe we we can get the result that this road is in too much traffic now let's recap this demo shows you 
how to launch a big data cluster platform on Huawei Cloud and set up a demo application on which it will consume some of the big data cluster components for real-time streaming and batch processing. Finally, we check out the results and make everything work fine. This is Huawei Cloud Demo Center. Thanks for watching and see you next time.